Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very soft glam with a pop of colour on the lips. This is also a one brand tutorial using only L'Oreal products. So if you're interested in how to achieve this look then just keep watching. Alright, so I've already filled in my brows because you guys know that takes me a hot minute to do so I thought I would get that out of the way. I am then going in with the Infallible Total Coverage Concealer Palette and I'm starting with this green shade and I'm going to apply it over areas that are a little bit inflamed. Green concealer really helps to counteract redness so it is perfect if you have fleet up in a certain area or if you have pimples or spots that you would like to hide. I tend to get quite a bit of eczema around my chin area so this is where I'm going to apply a majority of that concealer. I'm then also going to apply some around the corners of my nose and the corners of my eyes. I've been doing quite a few eye looks lately so my eyes are super sensitive and to me they look quite red. I'm then also taking a little bit more of that concealer and applying it on a few pimples and blemishes that I would like to reduce the appearance of. Once I've mapped out where I would like that concealer to go I'm going to go ahead and slightly blend it out. I'm not going to blend it 100% because the foundation I am using shortly will cover it however I do want to blend it out enough so it doesn't seep through that foundation For foundation, I am going to be combining two of the Infallible Total Cover foundations to get my perfect shade. I did do a first impression and review on this bad boy, which you can find up on my channel. I absolutely love it. So all I'm going to do is apply that foundation in sections of my face and then blend it out using a damp sponge. Because this foundation is super, super full coverage and gives a very, very matte finish, I find that using a damp applicator to blend it out really allows the blending to be effortless. And once I am happy with the coverage, this foundation is totally buildable by the way, I'm going to go in again with that concealer palette and take the lightest shade of concealer and apply it in the inner portion of my eye and under my eye area as well. I felt like my eye area could use a little bit more coverage. I feel like the foundation didn't quite cover enough, but that's okay. That is what a concealer is for. And again, I'm just going to blend that all out. I'm going to do some very, very basic cream contouring. So taking the Infallible Sculpt Duo, I'm taking the contour shade and applying that on areas that I would either like more defined or areas where a shadow would naturally occur. So on my cheekbones, my forehead, around my nose area, because I would like that to be, well, I would like that to give the illusion that it's a little bit more elongated and slimmer. And then I'm also going to take that contour shade under my bottom lip as well and a little bit around my chin area. To blend that all out, I am using a small tampered face brush as opposed to the teardrop end of a sponge as I feel like it gives more of a precise blend. And with any type of bronzing or contouring product, you always want to ensure that you blend it upwards and never downwards because if you blend it downwards, that is going to downplay the definition you are trying to achieve. I'm then going to go in with the Nude Magique Light Press Powder and apply this under my eye area and over my eyelids as well. Applying it over my eyelids will help act as a primer so it will help prevent my eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day. If you were to wear the foundation on its own with no concealer, I would tell you to steer clear of applying any type of powder on top because the foundation is super, super mattifying. However, concealer is a completely different story because it is meant to be a lot more creamier than foundation. It has a lot more tendency to crease throughout the day. Moving along to the eyes, I am going to start by applying this brown shade on the very outer portion of my eye. I'm first applying it with a pencil brush so I can really pack that color in place. And then I am going in with an eye blending brush to blend it all out. I do go in with a couple of layers to really intensify that brown. And once there isn't a lot of product left on my blending brush, I am going to blend it up even higher towards my brow bone. I'm then going in with a different blending brush and blending it all through to ensure there are no harsh lines. Returning to that pencil brush we used just before, I'm picking up more of that deep brown shade and applying this on my lower lash line. 
I'm then going in with this taupey gold shade and I'm going to apply it directly next to that brown that we just applied on the outer corner. And again, I am going to pack this on quite heavy so you can really see the pigmentation of the eyeshadow. And you also want to ensure that you blend it into the outer corner so you get a seamless transition of color. For the lid, I'm going in with this gorgeous gold shimmery shade and I'm going to apply this from inner corner to where it meets that torpy gold, so around two thirds of the way through. I am applying this baby like there is no tomorrow, but again, I really want that pigmentation to shine through and that is going to allow my eyes to sparkle and pop. And for the last time, I am going in with that bigger blending brush and just going to blend everything through to ensure that there are no harsh lines. To clean up my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a very dry stiff sponge and that pressed powder we used just before. And all I'm basically going to do is cut into that eyeshadow. So starting from the very outer corner of my eye and working my way up to the tail end of my brow. So this is great if you have ever brought your eyeshadow lower than you would like it to be. It's a great way to clean it up, to crisp it up and to give it a very defined and cat eye effect. And just ensure that you sweep away any excess powder. I am going in with a liquid liner and I'm going to line the upper portion of my lids. I'm not going in with a wing or anything fancy. All I want to do is line my upper lash line, give it a little bit of a tight line and give the illusion of bigger, more awake eyes. I'm going to apply a couple coats of mascara to my lashes and that is the eyes done and dusted. To finish off the rest of my face, I am going in with the True 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 Match Highlighter and a tampered face brush and I'm just going to apply this on my upper lip, nose and cheekbone area. Because I haven't gone crazy with contouring or bronzing or anything like that, I don't want to go in crazy with highlighter because that is just going to distract from the overall look. For once in my life, I do not want to look like a glitter ball, so I'm just going to apply this very sparingly. Last but not least, I am going to go in with a pop of color on the lips. This is from the Sexy Balm collection and the colors you see in person are so true to the colors on the packaging. They do come in a lipstick form and there are some that come in more of a gloss form. They also come in a range of shades, so these are definitely worth picking up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. You can easily add on a pair of eyelashes or add to the contour highlight or anything that you desire to really intensify the look. Please leave all your comments and suggestions down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.